Welcome along to our instant match reaction following Saints bursting Burnley's bubble. Clive's on the call from Burnley. Clive, what did you see of it and what did you make of it? And we were saying in our preview, we'd take a point from Turf Moor. Yeah, we have taken a point and my God, we left it last minute, haven't we? We got that point at the end and, and that was reminiscent of the season that we got promoted when we were 3-1 down at Burnley and we came back to 3 all. So, who knows? Who knows? Little signs, but... Honestly, with a minute to go, Freddie, we were dead. We were dead. There were people, there were people screaming for Pellegrino's head in the same section. It wasn't a particularly nice day. It's, it's, God knows how cold it is down there, but it's absolutely freezing your nuts off up here. And both teams were dog die. It was an awful game. Uh, Burnley got ahead, and you know when Burnley get ahead, they usually stay ahead. So, all credit to Saints. I don't know what he was doing. He, he chucks everyone's moaning about one forward on. We, we had four forwards on, on at the end there. But somehow it worked. Somehow we got that point. And it, it, like the last game, it gives us a chance. We go to the next game. We've gone up. Somehow we've gone up two places. And we go to the next game with hope. Yeah, actually, big credit to the uh, travelling support today, making a 500 mile uh, round trip to, to Burnley and back. But yeah, you said attacking, uh, you know, he's, he's brought on four fours by the end. It's attacking changes this season that Pellegrino has had a lot of criticism or there of lack of this season. He brings on Sims, Buffal and Gabbiadini. Um, I think you have to give a bit of credit to Pellegrino to actually show a bit of character this afternoon. I think he was playing his last hand, to be fair. But look, credit to the players that, that turned up today. Carrillo was excellent. Whilst, whilst we were up against it, he was trying to join the play up on his own. He was really excellent. And I thought, all credit to him and massive credit to Josh Sims. Yes, Gabby got the goal and let's hope that he can go on a goal-scoring run. As we all know, once he gets on a run, he can be devastating. But Josh Sims really made an effect on that game. Where we had no hope, all of a sudden we did have some hope. And his very positive runs... His first touch was superb. I, I can't praise him highly enough. Please get him in the team because I think the fans can, can latch on to that. And this is what we need a bit of hope towards the end of the season because we all know it's going to be a ro roller coaster ride of emotions, roller coaster ride of, again, results today have gone all over the place, results you didn't expect. But, you know, we've got to stick with it. And, and thankfully, we did stick with it. We got that point at the end of the day. Yeah, you know what? A, a key word comes to mind when I describe Josh Sims: te tenacious. And he done that today. It was a great layoff, a great layoff by by Nathan Redmond, and he uh, finds Sims out wide position, floats it right over. Carrillo cushions it. Um, Burnley feel hard done by by the goal, but Gabbiadini he shrugs off the defender and absolutely hammers it. And he, I think that's a statement to Pellegrino too. Yeah, that's right. And look, never give up. All Saints fans out there. Some people might be resigning themselves to relegation. Never give up. Keep fighting, guys, because I don't think we deserve to go down. It's, it's been an awful season in the league, but you just keep going until the final, final whistle. Next week, then. Next week, Stoke at home is absolutely huge. Then following that, it's uh, Newcastle away, who were 2-0 up today. But Stoke also, they were 1-0 up too. Both of these teams... Uh, are failing to see off these results at the moment. So next week, Stoke at home, what are you thinking? Oh, Stoke at home. My goodness, we haven't... You know, we've struggled against them, haven't we? They don't look particularly great, but we've just got to put them to bed. When we get the chance, if you if you get ahead, go and get the second goal and don't, don't concede. And uh, keep your eye on the little midget because he's half decent. And keep, keep, your, keep your eyes on Mr Crouch because we love Mr Crouch, don't we? No, seriously, it's tough. It's tough. These games are all so tough for Saints. And the only way we're going to do it is a bit of bollocks, a bit of hard nous. And please, Saints fans at home, don't get on the team's backs. Keep behind them. We need, we need you. We need you. The fans away have been absolutely fantastic. The fans at home, I think... Like Nathan Redmond has actually been destroyed by that by some of the home fans. He had a half decent season last season, you know, and this year he's he just looks a shadow of the player that he was. And I think Buffal the same, you know, Tadic 
people have a go at Tadic all the time. Tadic is the guy that can unlock defences. Tadic is the guy who's got a, a decent finishing in. Whatever you think, if you don't like the player, that's fair enough. But it's our team, you know, and and we are we're up against it now. Can you not see that by slagging the players off at home, it stops them playing. It, it, it just clams them up. It stops them playing proper normal football. Just get behind them, guys. If it doesn't work, you can moan like you want to moan at the end of the season. But we've got a chance to get out of this shit. And we can do it. But I'm afraid I worry about the home fans. That If, say, Stoke got ahead next week, that they turn against us. Don't do it. You know, we're, we're up against it. We, we want to stay in this division, obviously. Well, well said there, mate. It is fighting spirit that we need and we need everybody behind the team. Uh, but let us know what you think in below. We snatched a point at Burnley, the minimum what we would have thought to take away from uh, Turf Moor. Freddie, it's so cold here, mate. My fingers just, you know, they're like icebergs. They're like absolute icebergs. And if you could have seen the second half, it is so hard. When you see this game on Match of the Day, it will look awful. It will look absolutely dog shite. But I tell you, the weather was foul and, and it was just like blowing in your face in our end. It's so hard to play proper, attractive football. So don't, you know, they've given it their best shot. We've, got, we've come away with a point when all looked lost. But, mm, well, we, we, we live to fight another day. <laughs> well said, mate. Clive, go get yourself warm. I have a pint. Thank you. Up the Saints. Come on! <laughs>